We're also covering the Capitol today. The House passes a pair of bills that would allow kids to go to school with head lice and contagious diseases. News 9's Augusta McDonald joins us live from the state capitol. Now, Augusta, parents, grandparents, we want to know, what do the bills mean for students moving forward? Sure, Amanda, great question. There were a lot of lawmakers on the floor today who are wondering the same thing. House Republican um, Kevin West is carrying these bills. He's carrying this legislation. He's saying that he, these bills won't change much in terms of current policy, but as you can see, lawmakers are not convinced. The topic of the day on the floor? If you were to know that your relative or child had head lice, would that bring you discomfort? Head lice. Representative Kevin West says House Bill 3159 cleans up language in a statute that bans kids with lice or contagious disease from coming to class. It passed with 55 yeses and 35 noes, splitting the Republican vote. It repeals a section of language banning kids with disease, which West says is redundant and exists elsewhere. Then its partner bill, House Bill 3145, which also passed today, would organize language in a different section of the law. West says these bills don't change much. It's to get the language clear and concise. But Tulsa Representative Regina Goodwin says this is an issue pitting local control against statewide public health interests and lessens protections in schools. School board control. It talks about more parental uh, control. It talks about now a doctor, not necessarily connected with the State Department of Health, that can now weigh in. The language of the bill says school boards shall work with the state health department in creating policy. West says schools will still have control over local policies. That it puts the school policy above that and the health department's input would be advisory. West says new standards of best practice about how to handle head lice cases in schools will be reflected in the changes. The bills now pass to the Senate, where they're authored by Yukon Senator, Senator Jake Merritt. Live at the Capitol, Augusta McDonald, Oklahoma's own News 9. We know you'll be